demonstration on how close these switchbacks are. Only about uh, 60 feet in between. up to the old faithful geyser. I think I was here once in 1974. I think a lot's changed since then. When we were here before, if I remember right, we were the only ones here. <laughs> Oh, that was pretty cool actually. Uh, got some good timing there. We walked up and like 10 minutes later the thing's uh, doing its job. So it's amazing that it can go on a schedule. Very cool. Covered a couple hundred miles today, came from uh, Flag Ranch inside of Yellowstone. Seen the uh, Old Faithful Geyser. Turns out there's a lot of geysers, but there's beautiful canyons, including a canyon that's deeper than the Grand Canyon that uh, I had never seen before. So not a lot of things that you know I haven't seen, but that was one of them. So knocked one off the list today. We're off, we're gonna do the Morrison Jeep Trail. So it's a big switchback. It's gonna take us up to about 10,000 feet. It's really, really kind of a cool overland trip. Weather's perfect. It'll be a real good picture day today, so we get some good video. All right, day four, and we're back in the dirt, and it's a nice scenic drive through Yellowstone. Supposedly, this trail is supposed to be either super difficult or just scary on the edge of a cliff. Got a little bit of a warning from a hiker. So yeah, the hiker came by here and said he'd done this on a UTV, but wouldn't take his own Jeep on this trail, so. <laughs> I think uh, we're more than capable of doing anything, but, and uh, anybody get vertigo? No? All right, we're good then.
How was that trail? That was freaking amazing. So about 1,300 feet elevation change in uh, less than two miles there. Um, we were at the bottom of this canyon, and when you're at the last lookout, you can't even see where we started at, it's so steep. I've never done anything like that before. That was very cool. I didn't think there was that many mountains in uh, Wyoming, let alone you know 10,000 foot uh, altitude mountains. So impressed with uh, the trail choice today. It's, it's amazing, that trail is straight down. We could look over the edge and couldn't even see where we had gone. Yeah, all the switchbacks it was really good. Ray did a fantastic job. You're never scared? No, I wasn't scared one bit, except for when we were rolling, when we were in the vehicle. <laughs> Day to day, and uh, you know, milled. We, you know, set a uh, good pace. We covered a lot of ground today, and uh, here we are, safe in Red Lodge, Montana. All right, another day on the road. And we woke up in Red Lodge, Montana this morning, on our way to the lead spearfish area below uh, Sturgis. We're about halfway there. We stopped by the, you know, Custer's Last Stand uh, Memorial Park today loaded with Harley Davidsons and, and people on their way to Sturgis. Pretty good little display they have there. Uh, learned some stuff, a little bit of history today. Still have a total of four or five hours of uh, highway time today. Looking forward to seeing what Sturgis has to offer. Well, hey, shoot, we're loaded. at Devil's Tower. Check it out. So never, never been here before. I, you know, it's a natural, uh, massive tower here. And we're basically in Harleyville right here. Pretty fun. Can't wait to check out Sturgis when we get there. This is getting crazy already. Spearfish, at least. But uh, we just witnessed a little burnout contest. Pretty good. People uh, not giving one about some rubber right now. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. We're still a ways out, and there is a ton of people out here. Bikes galore. I'm Casey Curry. Thank you for watching. Now, comment below. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you don't like. Subscribe right here. Watch more videos here.